But I know what happened in the past. I don't know, they may be trying to get rid of us. So, <laughs> I was real skeptical, y'all. Okay, recording, getting my shot. Second dose, moment of truth. What's hey, up, everybody? Welcome back to the <laughs> channel, The Brawly Stories. Mm -hmm. We're the Brawlies. I'm Brandon. I'm Christy. And this is baby Bella. She Say is hey, tired baby. today, a little cranky. <laughs> uh, so we'll see if she makes it through the video. <laughs> I'm not too sure. So we're just sitting here having breakfast. Uh, you can't see our bowls of cereal, but we're just, we're just kind of chilling. Um, uh, but uh, today we're going to be talking about vaccines and shots. Uh, we all three have gotten shots this week. Uh, me and Christy for the COVID vaccine and then mm. baby Bella, her scheduled regular uh, infant mm. shots. Did uh, not plan it that so, way on purpose, y'all. No, no. <laughs> so we'll see. She seems a little, a little cranky today uh, and a little tired from yesterday. So we'll see how that, how that plays out. But uh, anyway, first things first, make sure that you uh, like, subscribe, mm -hmm. and hit the bell notification icon. It definitely, definitely helps, and we greatly appreciate it. And that way you can also uh, stay in touch whenever we drop a new video. So, all right, we're going to jump right in. All right, guys, I am headed to go get my second dose of the vaccine. I'm a little nervous because I have heard of a lot of side effects fever chills all types of stuff after getting this vaccine so i felt fine after the first one just a little nervous about the second dose though that second dose though y'all can leave in the comments and let me know is anybody else nervous about getting the second dose of the vaccine so my husband definitely had some convincing to do but when it came down to it it's been so long that this pandemic is going on that I'm like, you know what? <laughs> I'm actually tired of this, I'm tired of uh, being so cautious all the time, of staying in when I want to go out, of being mindful of who I go out to eat with and you know, having to sit outside all the time, regardless of the weather. And then having a newborn during the pandemic as a new mom, of course, I'm like, even if I would not be so cautious just for myself, I would do anything I need to do to protect my baby girl. So when my husband broke it down to me like this, like basically everybody's gonna get this virus, either you're gonna get the vaccine and have very minimal symptoms, maybe none, or get the actual virus and then just see what happens to you. <laughs> so I was like, you know what? it's kind of making sense to me now kind of making sense and it got to the point that i was like i am definitely getting this vaccine never been more excited to get a shot in my life and after the first after my first dose of the vaccine y'all i felt so free i'm like i can go out now i can talk to people and not treat them like they have the cooties uh, your girl is a social butterfly so i am looking forward to socializing without the distance i'm ready i'm ready <laughs> deed has been done I'm a fully vaccinated woman you see the muscles see the muscles fully vaccinated woman I know they say it takes a couple of weeks to kick in but I feel free already no side effects of course I just got it a few minutes ago so may not be the best time to speak on it but I I feel great emotionally I feel awesome I feel free and Feel pretty liberated what's up all right so this is my turn to get my vaccine shot my wife got hers done yesterday yeah, i'm excited i'm ready to get this thing over with be done with it 
So we'll see how this thing goes. I'm ready to get this over with. But I'm looking forward to being free. Free of COVID. Okay, recording, getting my shot. Second dose. Moment of truth. Bad at all. So I'm waiting around Walgreens uh, just in case you know there's any adverse reaction, which I don't expect there will be. All right, everybody. So uh, completed my shot. Waited around for my 15 minutes. Uh, no side effects, thank God. So I mean, of course, we'll check back tomorrow and maybe even the next day to see if there's any delayed side effects. But I feel good. I mean, it didn't even hurt. The one sucky thing is that uh, I forgot my vaccination card. So I'm gonna have to come back up here so they can sign it for me. But um, otherwise than that, I'm done. So I'm grateful to have this this COVID thing behind me. So it's pretty, pretty exciting. So yeah, today, I mean, we're gonna be discussing how we feel after the, the vaccine. I mean, we, we've mm. gotten both doses of the vaccine. We're gonna yeah. talk about which one we got, uh, where we got it, our experience, any side effects, et cetera. Um, so yeah, so what was your experience like getting both shots? I normally hate needles. Mm. I normally hate getting any type of shot, getting my blood drawn, anything that involves a needle. Mm. So you'll never see me walk around with a tattoo. Best believe that. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it didn't hurt and it's been a couple of days now and I have not experienced any side effects, thank you Lord, other than soreness at the oh. site of injection. Those of you who are afraid that you're about to drop dead after you take the vaccine, not so. We got the Pfizer. Yeah, we, we got the Pfizer. Pfizer. We both got Pfizer. Um, and, I mean, we've had a, a good experience with it uh, overall. I, I think all of the people around my age that had symptoms, I think they all got the J&J. &J. Hey, no, no shade on it. I don't no want to. No shade. Whatever vaccine you can get, go get. Yeah, but, yeah. <laughs> so, but we, uh... They did have that recall, though. <laughs> so, I mean, I got mine at Walgreens as well. My first shot, I mean, they had me waiting for a while. I, mean, I waited probably like an hour to get mine done. Was probably because he was late for his appointment. Yeah. I was late. I Mr. will. I'll be Slot. honest with you. But no, nah, I had nothing to do with that. to be there 15 minutes ahead No, nah, I had nothing to do with that, though. I had nothing to do with that. <laughs> I had nothing to do with it because it was, it was like... Do it in huh. batches. They only did it like every 30 minutes. Dude. I was a little late, wait. but that's not why. I, that's the only reason I, I, I was waiting. They had people there that was there on <laughs> time said, and they were waiting too. Minutes ahead of they time. were waiting too. So anyway, you know, they were like doing five at a time every like 30 minutes or something like that. Um, so we, we went in. I went in rather. Got my uh, shot. Uh, the first time, I mean, I heard a little bit. It wasn't bad at all. And then the next day I woke up with a little oh. soreness in my shoulder. Oh. It was fine. Oh. And it was... Less sore than it would have been if I would have just been working out, so it was fine. And then the second shot, I, don't, I didn't even feel it. It like I felt it go in, but it didn't. It's like it missed my muscle or something like that. It was really unusually painless. So um, I almost wondered if she missed, but I know she went in. Um, so I don't know. And uh, but I, I felt even less soreness with that one uh, yesterday. I mean, I felt almost nothing, and then today I don't feel anything. So it's been a good experience. <laughs> what is she doing? I don't know. <laughs> it's a mutiny. She's taking over. Um, so, but we we just we just feeling good, feeling free. The pandemic I know, I know is it, over for us. Well, well, <laughs> not quite. It takes obviously a few few days for the second dose to to kick in. So um, we're waiting for that. But otherwise than that, we're feeling really excited that we don't have to be worried about it. And I know that we found out like in the last couple weeks that the vaccine does transfer to the baby through best breastfeeding. Yep, so I'm giving her my antibodies. Yeah. So it's like I gave her the vaccine too. So that's pretty cool. So now we don't have to worry about you, baby. Yeah, exactly. And that was our biggest concern this whole mm -hmm. pandemic. For those of you who are still scared to get the vaccine, I can say at first, I did not want to get this vaccine and somebody yeah. influenced me to get it. 
I like to do everything natural. My food is my medicine. Sleep is my prevention. <laughs> she but, really thinks that way. Um, I really don't take medicine and I don't get um, I don't typically get flu shots or not that I'm against it, but for me, I don't feel like I need to do all that. So I was like, they came out with this thing so fast. Um, I don't trust it. And I'm like, what corners did they cut? They will not experiment on this body. <laughs> and then I was like, I know what happened in the past. I don't know. They may be trying to get rid of us. <laughs> so <laughs> I was real skeptical y'all and I was like if I get it it's gonna have to be out for like a year first <laughs> y'all the pandemic is gonna be over by then but um I was very skeptical and for those of you who are concerned about you know certain people groups ethnicities getting it and you feel like you know they may be trying to kill us all off well what about the other people groups who have gotten this vaccine and they're still living and shoot go to their neighborhood go to their walgreens to go get it if you're concerned that they try to poison yours okay and i'll let my husband share some things that he shared with me that helped to change my mind so yes we are encouraging you to go get the vaccine i will say my number one reason is that everyone is going to get either the virus or the vaccine. That's right. So which one has more risks? <laughs> which one has more dangerous, numerous risks? Take your pick. Y'all, she's not gonna make it. She's not gonna make it. I'm gonna have to put her down for a nap. She's begging for one. We hope to encourage you guys um, that we are vaccinated and we feel free and we feel healthy and strong. And everyone we know that has been vaccinated. Some people we did find that had some side effects um, mm -hmm. and even they're happy that they were vaccinated. They feel free and relaxed. So that was pretty cool. Especially if you've got people in your family or friends that are high risk. Like obviously, yeah. my, you know, my my wife was pregnant during this, this uh, pandemic. The baby is a, a higher risk. Um, mm -hmm. So that was, you know, it was like, we, we got to make sure. I mean, so for, you know, we have people in our family that uh, could obviously be affected by it. You know, my, uh, you know, her, her twin is, in, is currently pregnant. So we don't want to, you know, you want to just make sure that those that you love are, are safe. So for us, yeah. it was an easy choice to vaccinate. Yeah. And we feel great. Yeah. It, it, we feel great. And all of you young folks out there who think, you know, I'll be fine if I get the virus. You might be, but what about the high risk loved ones in your life that you could transfer it to? Yeah. Do you want to take that gamble on their lives? Yeah. We got the vaccine. We survived. We survived. Yeah. <laughs> no, no mutations, no, uh, right. we didn't get any extra toes. <laughs> Your body parts are falling off. We're good. But at the end of the day, getting the virus and all those risks or getting the vaccine. So we encourage you guys to prioritize your health, prioritize the health of those that you love, um, and even those that you don't know uh, to keep us as a people healthy, alive, strong, well. Mm-hmm. So it, it's been cool. We, we feel good anyway. We wanted to give you our thoughts and our experience getting this vaccine. Thanks again for joining us uh, for this week's episode of The Brawley Story. Uh, if you haven't already, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification icon. Leave a comment. You know, let us know your thoughts or your experience with getting the vaccine or the virus, whatever. And, uh, you know, feel free to, to chat it up with us. We'd be happy to uh, converse with you about that. So this is just another part of the Brawley story, getting our vaccine to help bring this pandemic to an end. And as always, we just want to encourage you guys um, that life is what you make it. So be intentional to make your story worth living. Till next time, y'all. Peace. Mm. Mm. Ooh, you're
heavy space. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm.